Konnichiwa Party Peeps, Manga Man here, and welcome to another episode of Manga Man Reacts to I, Tenshi Muyo, episode 35. We're going backwards a little bit because I have been a little bit absent in the last couple of days due to, well, Pokemon coming out and everything. Gotta catch them all. But anyways, let's get started on recapping last week's episodes. Episode 35, Looking Back, Part Whatever. As the week started off, we got a little bit of what we've been coming to expect with this new Aitenshi Muyu series. A big fan service scene with, of course, a hot springs bath scene with all the new girls involved. Not that Tenshi Muyo hasn't been subjected to this type of fan service before, though I believe the fan service from the original OVA was done a lot better. Speaking of fan service, this uh, recap episode, Momo loves to talk all about all the different girls. This uh, well, bra sizes. So I can't say like hers is so big that she needs to have the water's buoyancy to keep them upright and it's like oh boy okay that's fine but as the week progressed we did get a little bit more intriguing things happening such as when Tenchi popped into the science club and we discovered a few new things for the matter of fact that the science club were looking for something for Benny and the something that they're looking for is of Jirayan design be it that because of Goriki's sensors picking up on Tenchi's Tenchiken that he had in his back pocket. Though why the sensors didn't activate immediately when Tenchi was in the room? Who knows? Maybe it was because Goriki was being used as a timer to help cook the ramen. We also got a few more awesome flashback episodes where we got to go further into the story development of Momo and Benny in the Meiji era dimension. And though they don't show it in the recap, it was the biggest highlight as we did get very good confirmations that yes, Momo is of Jiraiya descent and may or may not be related to Sasami and Aeka, though there might be more than one royal ha house. Benny also can't remember anything uh, from her past time. And the biggest surprise of all that this recap does show off is that we got a brief glimpse of Tenchi's Lighthawk Wings, the ultimate defense. Great, great to see them, even if it is just for a very split second. What's going to be happening for... What's going to be happening for Tenchi and the girls for the rest of the week? Well, let's now get into the speculation part of these recaps, which I'm going to be starting to do now that we're starting to wind down. The series is going further into explaining a lot more of the backstories of the girls, specifically those of Momo and Benny's, since theirs are not of an earthly design. I believe that because of this, we might be getting some more interactions between those two in particular. Due to the fact because Momo wants to connect with Benny, though she doesn't know it that she and Benny know each other in a past life or not. It's just due to her uh, friendly disposition and personality. Now, what would be interesting is if Aieka and Sasami were to react to interact with Momo uh, once they do realize that Momo is of Drying Descent, which does make me wonder if Momo is of Drying Descent, why didn't Aieka or Sasami recognize her? I mean, I know that Sasami and Aieka were kind of in a hyperbolic sleep while uh, while all of the uh, during the original OVA if this new series is taking place in that same timeline but it's all kind of up in the air as to why Aik and Sasami don't recognize Momo because I would feel that uh, royal princesses of Jirai would recognize each other even if it was for a brief second Though, on the other hand, M Momo was a baby in that flashbacks, and again in a chibi form, 
So, you could say that Momo was born during the time when Aik and Sasami were away from Jirai, so then they wouldn't know of her. So, I guess I just answered my own question right there. But yeah, I'm hoping now that this upcoming week that we're going to be getting further into the background, like, what is Washu up to? How come we haven't seen Mahoshi for a while? What happened to Ryoko and Mahoshi when they got sucked into that time warp or tear through time and space? I mean, what happened to Tenchi and Momo in that same instant? What is Uruka-sensei up to? Something's up with that. But well, that's all the time we have for today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more of these videos. And also like this video if you enjoyed my reactions. Please support me on my Daily Motion account. I have all of my reviews on there, including ones that you can't find on YouTube. And as always, support the Tenchi Forum guys who have just come back from their convention down in Florida to see Patria. So they'll be coming back soon to do more of these episodes. But until then, a guy's got to make a living off of YouTube somehow. And this is the Manga Man, signing off.